Hey, Miles Beckler here again. In this video, you're going to learn how to do basic keyword research using Google's free keyword planner tool. Now, this is really, really powerful, and it's really important for you to consider at all aspects and all stages of what you're doing what people are searching for, whether you're naming a YouTube video or a blog post or a product or a giveaway, you want to go ahead and reference this tool to try to understand what are people searching for. Because the easy button is give people what they're searching for and make it excellent and you'll get shared, picked up, and everything will work. So there's no real trickery here, but we're just going to use this as an insight to the mindset of our target market. Now, I'm going to move myself out of the way. And in the last video, I kind of covered what my 30-day uh, challenge had been doing. So we're going to do keyword research for that video. I'm about to publish that here in a second. And I figured I went straight to this tool and I was like, hey, I got to share how I name my videos and get words for my description. So the first thing I do is I go to the keyword planner by just searching it, literally. I still, to this day, just search it. Um, it shows up. It's adwords.google.com slash keyword planner. It is going to require me to log in. Oh, so I'm already logged in, which is great. Um, now, if you don't have an AdWords account yet, that's okay. Um, this is a free tool, but they're going to block you out if you don't have an AdWords account. So just set up an AdWords account, set up your first ad. They make you put your credit card in. Once that's done, turn off the first ad. You don't actually run any ads. It doesn't. You don't have to write anything. You could just lorem ipsum, you know, just gibberish in the ad set. Um, because once you've actually put your credit card into the system, even if you haven't paid, then you get access to all their free tools. You may actually have to pay a dollar or two. I'm not sure. Whatever it is, it's worth it. I've been using this tool or whatever variant of this tool Google allows or has available uh, for over 10 years, and I, I literally can attribute a ton of my success to the fact that every time my wife or I put out content, whether it's a video, a blog post, a podcast, or anything, or a product, we're looking at this tool. What are people searching for? So the first place you go is right here, find new keywords, get search volume data. I'm going to click the search new keywords. Now I'm not going to use this tool I'm going to show for a quick second, but if you have a competitor, someone who's doing exactly what you want from the, if you go back to our competition research videos, and if you found them and you're like, okay, what keywords are they ranking for? What are they doing really well? You can just enter their website right here and Google will show you all keywords associated with that website. But for this video right now, I just really want to show how I do my research. So the video I'm trying to title was, it's about my 90 day challenge, but it's about a 30 day challenge. It's kind of like a marketing challenge and it's videos on YouTube, right? So just bear with me for a quick second. I'm going to bang out a few keywords here. We just put one per line and use enter to get through. So perfect. That's it. Now I'm going to scroll down and click get ideas. So just a few basic broad two word phrases is what I was searching for, right? 30 day challenge, 90 day challenge, WordPress, because I WordPress websites, I don't know. I'm just curious, right? Blog challenge, although I'm doing a video challenge, it everything I talked about was very pertinent to blogs. Um, so right off the top, I'm seeing instantly more people search for a 30 day challenge than a 90 day challenge, like massively, that's over 10 X, right? So that's a magnitude stronger search volume right there. Um, YouTube challenge does actually get searched, which is interesting. Now this suggested bid, if I was to place an ad for this item, this is what I would expect to pay per click. One thing I'm noticing is that the cost per click on the 30 day challenge is way less than the 90 day challenge. So there, there's a reason to that. Competition, these numbers, or excuse me, these uh, phrases, it's low, medium, or high. This is only in reference to paid traffic on this system. So like, this doesn't mean that there's low competition for a YouTube video about the title. It doesn't mean if it says high that, that it's a bad place to go into. I literally ignore this. I like to see a number here, but I really don't care at all. All I'm looking for is this average monthly searches. <clears throat> and I just clicked it, excuse me, so I can uh, sort with the highest up top. Excuse me, had to mute out a cough there. And you'll see that out of my ideas, I'm already thinking 
30 day YouTube challenge could be my title 30 day YouTube video challenge could be a very good title but let's scroll down because below so these were the ideas right here that I came up with and below Google gives me what they think makes sense um, so instantly I'm noticing how to lose weight qvc.com weight loss az so these aren't extremely relevant so I'm gonna go over here on the keyword options and I click that button and see this one the top one only show ideas closely related to my search term I'm gonna turn that on and I'm gonna click save and I'm gonna click get ideas again I don't exactly know why it um, balked it should have refreshed all that right away perfect so now what I did is I just said only show me closely related ideas right I don't want AZ or whatever that is so now I'm noticing workout challenge challenge ideas Google online marketing challenge very interesting YouTube challenge ideas 30-day cardio so what I'm able to tell by this right now is it sounds like it's a big time exercise thing and that makes perfect sense right like the the 90 day workout challenge the 30 day workout challenge if you want to change your body in 30 days or you got a wedding coming up in 90 days and blah 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 so that kind of makes sense if I wanted to go deeper I could put in these filters right here Oops, excuse me I totally lied about that um, negative keywords so the negative keyword tab now I can say body um, weight loss I can tell it don't include phrases that have these words photo um, workout and I'm gonna click save and now it's gonna refresh again and I honestly play with this tool for I mean in my lifetime I hundreds of hours easy um, I'm always on this tool because this tool gives me the insight to what people are looking at so I'm noticing I like the Google online marketing challenge idea that's kinda cool so it's again it's exercise it's cardio so now in this one I'm not getting anything fantastic from the recommendations uh, from Google or the keyword ideas from Google and part of that is because it seems to be dominated in the weight loss area now that's fine what I really wanted to know was are people searching for 30 day or 90 day challenges more because when I name my video based on 30 day challenge right if this keywords in my title if I use 30 day challenge repeatedly in my text if I essentially optimize my video for 30 day challenge versus 90 day challenge I've got 10 times larger audience now a lot of these people are searching for weight loss stuff this that the other that's fine I'm okay with that I just wanted to know do I do I name it a 30 or do I name it 90 so right now it's 30 and I love that YouTube and video are here so what I'm gonna do for my video and what I now get and why I came to this tool is my video is gonna be called 30 day YouTube video challenge I might sneak marketing in there um, but in the description of my video I'm gonna use 30 days I'm gonna use all of these phrases directly as they are I'm gonna mash them up to combine a few of them for my title but in the actual long text of the description on that last video I'm gonna use every single one of those in my description that way when people search for these kinds of phrases my video has a high likelihood of coming up because there's relevance to my video and these phrases based on the title and description I've created and that's the trick to the game is creating relevance in the eyes of Google and YouTube is obviously owned by Google YouTube is the second largest search engine in the world so all of this data that we're looking at right here totally applies to YouTube as well it's just a scaled down version of the numbers so I expect the trend I expect the averages and the difference between these to be very similar on YouTube which is why I'm basing my data on this so that's it for the video this is how you use the simple keyword planner tool this again it's a free tool it is an amazingly powerful tool because you gotta research what you're putting out you gotta make sure what you're creating whether it's a product a blog post a video are relevant to what people are searching for if you're creating things that aren't relevant to what people are searching for guess what no one's gonna find you if you create highly relevant focused content time and time again on phrases that people are searching you will drive traffic 
So this is a really powerful tool in the 30 day and the 90 day challenge, but it's also just a great tool in your tool belt as an internet marketer. Again, I'm Miles Beckler. Go ahead and leave me a comment below. Let me know what you thought of this video and click on subscribe above so you can get the next videos in the series when they come out. I thank you very much for your time. Go forth, use this tool. It can really, really, really help your business. It can help you grow as an online marketer much more quickly than if you don't. And thank you again for your time. Have a great day.